This is 28-year-old Zachary Turner. Investigators with the Greene County Prosecutor's Office want people in greater Cincinnati to take a good look at him. For those who believe that they have been victimized or for anyone who has information uh, related to Zachary Turner, uh, we do ask that they come forward. Until this semester, Turner was a student at Wright State University. He lived in these on-campus apartments. This is where investigators say he raped two women on separate occasions last October. There are multiple felony offenses, including rape, kidnapping, and abduction. According to court documents and Wright State records obtained by WLWT, Turner met the women on Tinder and lured them to his place. Documents state he put a knife to one victim's throat and sexually assaulted her for several hours after he duct taped her wrists as well as her ankles. Wright State Police say about two weeks later, a second woman was victimized in the apartment. Investigators said Turner put a large knife to her throat and then ran a knife down her spine. Investigators say she was handcuffed, face down on the bed, and sexually assaulted. After Turner was indicted on those cases, prosecutors say two more women came forward, accusing Turner of similar crimes. One of those alleged victims is from the Miami Valley area. The second is from Westchester in Butler County near Cincinnati. WLWT spoke with a woman from Westchester. She said she was raped in 2017 when Turner lived in the township. She says she was also handcuffed, locked in a basement for seven hours and raped. She says she also met Turner online. And investigators say they are now looking into those cases. More charges could be filed. Turner is no longer a student at Wright State University. He recently pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. Reporting live tonight in Westchester, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.